we're working uh, across a super grid, uh, working down a transect of six cameras uh, using uh, remote sensing cameras. We're using uh, three different types of bait. We're using a, oh, a control, a, um, a peanut butter bait, and a uh, tuna oil bait. And so we sit that about two meters from uh, the camera, and that's in a, uh, a clear area so that uh, anything uh, that is attracted to the bait can uh, be seen by the camera. It senses movement, takes uh, three photos, and then we can identify the species by that. So we look at uh, the three different bait types being the control, uh, peanut butter, and the tuna oil um, to, to see whether there's any difference in uh, what the different baits uh, attract uh, species-wise. So when we're setting up a camera, we've got to think about a few things. We've got to think about where the sun is coming from uh, with the angle because you don't want um, the glare on the camera. And you've also got to think about um, the vegetation around the camera to whether it's going to set off uh, the camera and so you have pictures of nothing. We've got tape over the, uh, the flash so that um, when it, the flash goes off, because it's a really strong flash, it could just create a uh, image of just light, uh, making it impossible to identify anything. Set off by any uh, any movement in the area, so any uh, branches or um, grass or anything that's moving uh, can set it off as well. So that's got to be considered. The shield over the top just protects it from um, from rain or uh, wind or anything really uh, affecting it. So uh, while we've got the camera, we can also around these baits clear an area. Uh, about a metre um, by metre around it, which just means that if any animals uh, do walk across it, uh, we, can, uh, we can see those uh, prints on the sand. So uh, even if the camp isn't put off by, the, uh, by an animal moving, we can still see some kind of sign of, of uh, life there.